Okay guys, four years ago, let me just check for you, I think it's four years ago, let me just check. 12, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, five years ago, maybe five years ago, I published a lesson and it was super popular but it just came up in my feed and I was like, oh wow, that's that lesson I recorded you know, four or five years ago. I clicked on it and it's just terrible, it's just, it's so bad, it's, I was just like, ah, and it's a wicked lesson as well. In a nutshell, it's this awesome cool chromatic lick that you can play over any chord type so i thought i'd re-record it for you guys and demonstrate how you can use it because because it's wicked and i actually stole it from somebody and i'll tell you all about that in a minute uh let's do this man i've lost i've lost i've lost everything since we moved gloves so about 20 of them in there by the way I've been having loads of questions about this it is made out of bass strings and um, one of our SBL Academy members Rachel who came to the uh, the London bass guitar show she gave me it it's wicked I don't know a string Rachel I don't know a string okay guys so let's check out this bass lick I blatantly stole this from Nathan East on a Michael McDonald record. I heard it eons ago and I cannot find the record. I think it was on, well, I think it was on the end of... by Michael McDonald. And it fits over any chord because it's completely chromatic. Boom. So like major chords, minor chords, dominant chords, you can use this lick and it sounds epic as well. Before we go any further, I've actually got a download for you guys. So if you want to download the PDF where you can see this lick in tablature and notation so you can follow along, I put a link down below. So hit the link below and you'll be able to get that. But the lick itself, let's for instance do it in like of a G dominant type sound, right? So. That's the lick, right? It sounds really crazy. And it, it, you know, when you play it, like the drummer generally will just go like, ah, oh, because it sounds so freaking cool. As I said, you can use it over like dominant type grooves, major grooves, minor grooves, and it all works over any of those chords simply because it's completely chromatic. You're playing a whole lot of wrong notes, but because it goes from tension to resolve, it works perfectly. Kind of a G vibe. All you need to think about is whichever chord you're on, okay, you start the lick from a fourth above. So if you're on a G, right, if it's like a G tonality, G major, G dominant, G minor, okay, one, two, three, four, okay, it starts from the fourth, which is a C in this case, and then you just go chromatically down from the C to the G, right? The first part of the riff is just, and it's all, just, it's the same shape all the way down. Root, fifth, octave on the C. Slide it down one. Okay, so you're playing 
on that C shape. The whole, every part of this lick is built around this shape. And then you just slide that shape downwards. The key to it is where to pick and where not to pick. So what you're playing is, let's look at, I'll do this hand really slow first, and then we're gonna look at this hand and where I'm sliding, because that's key to it. Okay, it sounds wicked, right? Now, this is the key part. Where am I sliding the notes? Because I'm not, I'm not actually plucking them all. I'm not playing. Here's what's going on, right? I'm going pluck, 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 slide, pluck, pluck, slide, pluck, pluck, slide, pluck, pluck, slide, pluck, pluck, slide. Super slow. That's a really great way of practicing it as well, is breaking it down and just looping it, looping it, looping it, round and round, okay? So two, three, four. Two, three, four. So you're playing groups of three notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, they're groupings of three, but you're playing them one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So you're playing groupings of three, but you're making them fit into a 16th note, one E and a, two E and a, three and a, four E and a grid. And that's where you get that really weird over the bar line feel. And that's why a lot of you might be like, oh, like really struggle with the timing of it. So breaking it up like I've just done then and looping it round and around and around and around, that's the way to do it. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one. And onwards, right? Again, guys, if you want to check out the tab and the notation for that, which I highly recommend. I've put a link below so you can click that link and get the download sent straight to your email and then sit with this lesson and figure it, out, figure it out. I remember once you've done this, check it out in different keys if you're in the key of C. You know, you just go up a fourth, one, two, three, four, and then so F do that super super cool and you can use it over any chord now before I go as well guys um, I've got to tell you that we've got this awesome thing going on at Scott's Bass Lessons um, I think anybody that joins up the Academy which is like what I do it's my job it's like the number one um, online bass school in the world for people like you okay anybody that let me get the dates right here anybody that joins up before the before midnight Friday, this Friday coming, which is the 14th of April, I hope I get that right. Essentially, we just did the London Bass Guitar Show a few weeks ago, and we filmed the entire thing, so we had guys like Cody Wright, Steve Lawson, uh, me, Jeff Chalmers, and Zoltan Decker, and we're all doing all this like, all hour long workshops at the London Bass Guitar Show. Well, we filmed the entire thing, so we've got eight hours of workshops that we filmed, and we're actually giving it away completely free to anybody that joins up the Academy. Let me get the date right. Um, before midnight, April 14th, which is this Friday coming. So if you go over and grab your free trial 
for the academy you'll get that thrown in that full eight hours totally for free as always guys thank you so much for hanging out remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we're doing some really cool stuff and there's some really exciting stuff coming as well what do we say dmac do you want do you want to sign off dmac see you in the shed. take it easy guys see you in the shed whoa 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 where are you going if you haven't subscribed to the scots bass lesson channel yet here on youtube click the link subscribe i release two videos like this every single week you can also check out our other videos over there and if you've not checked out scotsbasslessons.com membership check it out you can grab your 14 day free trial over there